Well, I'll tell you, I'm just beat. It was a heck of a week last week. Went to uh, Vegas for GPC Worlds, had a booth set up there for three days. Uh, two of my training partners were competing. Rudy Cadleb and John Hare both took their uh, divisions in the master class for world championships. John won second overall among ma masters as far as the, uh, the, the best lifter. And Rudy, on his last attempt, would have beaten the classic uh, Ernie Franz uh, record that stood for quite some time. But uh, had, a, had a groin tear and didn't get that. But uh, great performance on their part. Filmed uh, Chris Papillion and Jamie Pacifico on Friday, their showdown meet. Uh, interview's already up, but uh, we'll be posting that up at some point. And got a lot of interviews over the weekend. So interviewed Sam Bird, Lane Norton, uh, Leroy the Machine Walker, uh, Bryce Lewis. I think that's it. There may be some more in there. Um, but uh, got some training in as well, so typical on top of uh, being at the events all day. Uh, got, you know, my usual three, four hours of training in. Yes, I move really slow in my workouts. Um, but uh, Wednesday night came in, did some benching with Sam Bird, bit BSing with uh, Lane and uh, Brett Concheris and uh, Stan Efferding. Thursday, I don't remember at this point what I did on Thursday. Um, Friday came in. I... Uh, BS'd with uh, Bradley Martin, uh, did a little bit of training with um, Mike O'Hearn, you'll see him in some of the videos there. Uh, Bryce Lewis started deadlifting uh, around the time uh, I was uh, finishing up. Um, Saturday night we did a four hour training session at uh, Brandon Allen's uh, new gym in North Las Vegas, Filthy Power Gym. Uh, met Leroy Walker there, uh, Bryce Lewis was there again. A um, bunch of folks in there, so, and then Sunday had breakfast with uh, Paul Carter and uh, Bryce Lewis, hung out with Sam a bunch through the week, uh, Sam Bird, uh, he was at GPC uh, hanging out at the booth with me quite a bit, and uh, that uh, that almost wraps it up, the rest of the Sunday we spent at the uh, Iron Addicts uh, uh, gym opening in Las Vegas there, so, um, talking with uh, Eddie Cohn and a uh, bunch of other folks in, in there. So it's a good time, really exhausting. Got back about midnight last night. Trying to get motivated to get in and do some squats right now because uh, I'm only going to be in town today and tomorrow before flying out to New York. So going to be out there all week. Uh, it uh, going to be at Wolf Brigade Gym doing some filming on some mace swing. Look out for that. And then uh, we're doing the DMS certification. Um, in New Jersey as well. So uh, that's booked, so don't ask about uh, getting into it. Uh, the next one of those is going to be in December, right here at Elite Performance Center, first weekend. So if you don't live in Oregon, that's no biggie. We got people flying in from, from New York and the rest of the United States because there's only a few of these a year. So don't be sitting there waiting for it to show up in your city. All right, enjoy the training footage. So this is uh, still at EPC on Monday doing some safety squat bar squats, 550 plus 300 chains. I hit four doubles uh, plus a single. There was a long rest break uh, before I hit that last set and just didn't feel comfortable pushing the last one. This is the first workout in Vegas on Wednesday. I did train Tuesday as well and uh, doing uh, some benching. First time with the straight bar in a while. Definitely feel the you know the increased strain on the shoulder using the straight bar versus the the duffalo bar. I'll be publishing some stuff on that soon. But did six sets, ranging between three to five uh, reps, depending on how I felt. And then uh, here's Mike O'Hearn doing some incline pressing with 405. Uh, this is right before I decided to uh, do a, a pretty awesome deadlift. Come on, four guys, come on. <laughs> Easy. Oh, guys. Go, baby. Go. Lutz. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Seventy-five. Oh, yeah. That'll wake you up. So the deadlifting is Friday night, and I think this was like 520 or 530 or something like that on the bar. Somebody was deadlifting it, 
and uh, thought I'd get some additional back work. I did quite a bit of back work that night, but uh, thought I'd do a set of bent over rows. Haven't done those for a little while. So just a single set there. And I thought I'd just throw in some pictures uh, through the week of uh, random people, things, stuff going on. And I uh, hope you enjoy. All right. Bye. If you'd like to support the production of further content and maximize your athletic performance, check out kabukistrength.net. Our goal is to provide you with the tools and the methods to maximize your performance. There's constantly adding new products to our site, so please check it out. All that's left is for you to bring the attitude.